This is the Ling Chi brush painting for beginner. Happy New Year 2023. <clears throat> Today we're going to do um, poppy, very simple poppy composition as a host. And the guess will be to wheatgrass, which we have it here. <clears throat> I'm using uh, dragon claw paper today. The reason is you can use pea or dragon claw for the subject. And then in the later session that we might <coughs> add uh, shade in the background. So um, if you do on the shrimp paper, raw paper, then you won't be able to do the shade in the background. <coughs> the brush um, I'm using, <coughs> really you only need two brush. <coughs> One for the <coughs> large petal for the poppy. I choose to use full lotus because this paper doesn't run very much. So I like to have a lot of moisture so my stroke can be fuller and more uh, more smoother. Or if you have the lotus petal, you can see quite a bit smaller. So, or large flow. One of the shape brush. And then the second brush, you can either use a mini flow or happy dog for the hui grass and for the stain for the uh, poppy. So in general, just two brushes. So one large shape brush, one line brush. Color, if you have the companion set, you can use the traveling companion set, 12 color set. And uh, we talk a lot about which color to use, the character of each color. So I'm not going to go into it right now. So if you didn't um, participate in our last uh, Friday's virtual session, it's all about color, you might want to check it out. And then we are also having the Kuritake 12 color set, and then the 36 color set. So any of these color, you have would work. Or if you have tube colors, you can also use those. But one thing very important that don't mix two brands together. So unless you know they work, but usually we try to suggest people just use one brand. So today I'm going to use the, the 12 Kuritake color set and then I want to show you how versatile this set is and then if you want to get into this particular brand this is a good way to get started. I'm starting with my full lotus. You can use large flow or lotus petal brush and I'm loading Kiritaki watercolor set the two reds red and rouge. So I'm loading it more than once, make sure I have enough color on the, on this um, first stroke. So the second stroke, I'm reloading more color. It's next to this one. So I'm trying to, uh, form a U shape. So then I'm using my mini flow, or you can use your happy dog, and I'm loading the yellow with a little vermilion to just to warm the tip up. And then a little green on the tip. So then I'm doing 
doing the center of the flower. Then I'm painting the side, upper side, left side petal. And then the middle petal. Loading more two reds, red and rouge. I'm going to add white there. And then in the meantime, I'm using red and add a little bit purple to darken the red. So then I will add a little stroke here and to tie this stroke back to the center. So they are all coming toward the center. Okay. And then in the meantime, I'm washing my yellow off my So I want to add some texture to this um, petals. So I have So then I finished my flower. Now I'm going to use the same brush, Mini Flow, with a little green. Soften it up with the palette I had. So look for the center of the center. So then I'm going to do a um, stain, right? Follow this. Okay. You can use, now I have a happy dot, but you can also use the same brush. And then I'm using the red, a little purple. And to do the little Didn't have enough red, so I'm add a little rouge here. Okay, this is my <coughs> mm. Make sure my um, mini foil is clean. So I have a little white. Add a little ochre. A little brown. So I rinse the tip off and a little vermilion. So then I'm doing the wheat grass. So it is one stroke, companion stroke, worker, 
A little brown. Okay, a little brown, white, take them off. You usually, you want to wash the white off your tip so you will sh have that transparency. So I'm connecting. All right, and then the second grass on this side. connecting so I'm going to add accent to these grass to make it pop up. So I have um, used our best bottle ink. Add a little bit ink to it. So you can see I'm connecting and also pop it up. Okay, this I finished my work and then I'm going to sign my name on the side. The reason we are doing wheatgrass with the poppy is that the Chinese New Year to celebrate with the red flower and the wheat grass to show a good harvest year. So this is all means lucky. So I'm going to sign my name here.